Walking the same path every night is such a good idea. It's amazing. I'm so glad I had that experience. Because if you do it for enough time, right? And I did it for years. I did it like... I started walking on that path when I was like 11 and I'm 23 and I'm still walking on the same path. And I've gone, like I used to walk like not that far. Now I'm walking like five, ten times the distance as I was when I was 11. Um, but still, same path. And I, I would notice like sometimes when I go, I try to like, you know, record stuff in my voice memos and I would have no creativity. I'd be in writer's block. Sometimes I would go and walk on the path and I'd be like, man, uh, why am I paying attention to how cold it is and how much my feet hurt and everything. Sometimes I'd walk the path and um, I would like see people walking around that feel scared. I wouldn't want to talk out loud in my in my voice memos. I wouldn't want to, I'd, I'd be paying attention to what they're doing and if they're looking at me, I'd be self-conscious and all this stuff. And then there have been other times in my life where I'd walk the path and I'd have a totally clear mind and I'd be like, I have no interest in being on my phone. I, I'm just totally content with what, whatever's going on right now. Or there would be times where I'd be walking the path and, you know, I'd see some, like, or I, I'd hear a coyote or whatever. And I would not be afraid at all. Like, there'd be no fear in my mind. I'd see people walking, like, oh, hey, how's it going? Nice day or whatever, you know? Or, um, like, I, I had ultimate creativity. I could think of thing after thing after thing and... I'd be thinking of all this, like, these crazy ideas or it's at different points in my life. I noticed how the qualia, like my experience, just light hitting my retinas, going into my optic nerve, being transmitted through my brain and, and interpreted as images literally changed despite the fact that I was looking at the same thing. The grass was greener. The sky was bluer. The birds chirping was just a little nicer to hear. Like, everything was just more tolerable. The world was just more nice at certain points where I was really active. I was meeting a lot of people and all these things. And it's like this was, like this really was such a great teacher when I think about it. It taught me so much about the world and, and my attitude and how my attitude affects the situation around me. And how, like, if I'm under a lot of stress, I'm so irritable. And like, it was just a great experiment that taught me so much about myself. Like that kind of thing will teach you, like the retrospective, the retrospective thinking on on something you've done for like a really, really long time that you, you can think about very, very deeply, um, that you haven't thought about very much because of how simple it is. That kind of action, repetition, something you've done your whole life, thinking retrospectively about that and your experiences based off of your attitude or how much pain you were in or what kind of friends you had around you or what your life was like in school or outside of school or what you were how much money you were making or whatever it may be right that kind of thing teaches you so much about about what you should do going forward and and what kind of decisions you should make to to have the best experience and to always be in the situation where you're always ready to try new things, you're always ready to take risks, where you're going in fearless and all that stuff. And I didn't think about that until recently. I didn't think about like, I was just walking just because I felt like walking. Just I was doing it mostly out of composure in the beginning because I had to walk my dog, take her out, you know, for, so she could like use the bathroom. But then I started to love it. And for the past two years, I've been walking without my dog. Um, actually, for the past like year and a half. But I, I'm so fucking glad I did that. Like, like I know a lot now. Like, I'm, I'm a way wiser person now than I was when I was little. So I know how to do things where, like, I can set myself up now so that in 10 years from now, I can look back and be like, man, I'm really glad I made that decision because I'm, I'm living a good life, you know? I could totally do that and I have the foresight to do that. But back then, that was not my intention. I'm just glad I got lucky. I really got lucky. I'm glad my parents got a dog. I'm, I'm glad they allowed us to get a dog. I'm glad that happened to me. I really am blessed, you know? Like everything that happened in my life, like 
if you're 11 years old, that's not something you can control. That's not something you could actively go like, man, I want to decide to do something now that I will be eternally grateful for in 10 years. But no, it just happened. And not many other people, like a lot of other American people, but not many other people around me, because a lot of people don't own pets like that. Not all these people had these experiences. And I'm just, I've just been thinking about this a lot lately. Not just this, but like all these experiences I had when I was little. Like, I really had a robust ass childhood, dude. I really did hell of shit that taught me a lot. Like, I fucking. Like, it's crazy. I'm 23 and I'm like, damn, what a life, you know? Like, my brother in Christ, you're in your early to mid 20s. But still. What a life. I really am blessed.